Nobody knows. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening guys welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video today We're heading over to sensational to take off the wrap on the m3. I've been missing the white I've been missing the alpine white a lot. The m2 is an alpine white It's just such a good looking color especially with the carbon I like the wrap that we did, but I like the alpine white more and we're, we're going back to white We're going back to white So we're gonna head over to the shop and actually rip off the wrap kind of show you guys how that goes down I do have a couple of people coming to look at the car this weekend So it might get sold as you guys know it still is up for sale for the right buyer But um, but even if it doesn't sell I'm cool with it. I actually really like the car I could I could take it or leave it to be honest with you So I'm excited to see the car back in alpine white though. I miss the white. I really do anyways Head up to the garage, get the car, head to the shop, and get caught. Obviously not taking this car. The Valtronic exhaust did arrive for my M2, downpipe, midpipe, and rear section, rear valve section. I'm just waiting on the tips, and then once the tips come in, I will uh, go ahead and install it. I'll show you guys. It's gonna sound loud. Um, we gotta find a few things in order to take all the stuff off the M3. Um, we're gonna need 3M for sure to put the rear diffuser back on. Maybe some fishing line. Take off the spoiler. One thing I am really excited to see again is the paint match spoiler on the M3, that like white to white paint match spoiler. I think it looks so much better than having the black with the blue, or even the black with the white. I think that white to white, oh, I think it just looks so good. I miss that a lot. So I'm excited to really see that. Um, let's hop over to the M3 garage, get in the car, and head to the shop. I actually really like the stock BMW wheels. They look amazing. I also put spacers on. Not my favorite to put spacers on a car, but look at how clean that looks. Look at how even it is. 10 millimeter spacers all the way around from Keys Motorsports. I got a video coming up on it. But yeah, it looks really, really good. They were super sunken in before. So I'm not the hugest fan of spacers, but until I get wheels with the proper offset, I'm gonna rock them. Dude, the blue is sick, but I just missed the white. Sir, back in the M3, back in the M3. It's actually a pretty easy process removing the wrap. It's not that difficult. Um, you can use steam or you can leave it out in the sun. It's rather cloudy today, so we don't really have that option, but you can put it under lights and use a little bit of steam and it's pretty simple to take off. Also, this car has ceramic coating on top of the paint, so it makes the removal process a little bit easier. Big man, big man. Ah, oh, you just can't help but smile once that weather starts turning around and it's getting a little bit warm. It's like 75 degrees today. R.I.P. That's the thing about this coffee holder, man. I call it a coffee holder because that's all mine holds is coffee. But it's one thing about it. It moves around a lot. It does shake. I do like the location of it, but yeah, R.I.P. As I was saying, our good friend Matt M2 Ghost also got the exact same exhaust as me, which is the full Valtronic exhaust. Um, he already has a downpipe, but I got a Catless downpipe into an open midsection into a valved uh, muffler section. So technically the car will be fully open to the muffler if I want it to be, and then I can close the valves and obviously it, it um, is using that muffler. I'm trying to find a shop that'll let me use a lift. Um, that's kind of like the next part of this whole thing that I'm doing. Uh, you know, everything that I do is either done by a shop or it's done by me on my garage floor. And ideally, I would like to be using a lift in like a proper shop, but um, I don't want anyone else to do it. I want to do it myself because part of like learning and part of understanding these cars is to do it yourself. So 
I'm trying to find a shop that uh, I'm trying to like basically partner up with a shop that's cool with me like using their stuff and will allow me to pay them to like rent out that lift for like that bay for uh, a, like a day or a night or whatever so I am um, I'm talking to a few people and I think I think I got it figured out pulling up to sensational So we gotta pull a bunch of shit off. Um, the badge, the wing, the diffuser. Leave the roof, correct? Yeah, yeah. Leave the roof. He says door handles. I think taillights, I don't remember. Taillights possibly, depending on how far in we went. I don't remember. I that needs to come out. I might keep these black, dude. I would keep those black, but yeah. they're gonna need to come out to pull the wrap off. Yeah, it's fine, it's easy. We're gonna go ahead and start dismantling this thing and then um, kind of like show you guys along the process. It's pretty simple, right? I mean, yeah. removing the wrap, put some heat on it, put some light on it. Uh, might have to end up steaming some stuff to pull it off, but. We're just gonna take our time. We still have clear yeah. bra underneath here, so. Yeah, we have, we have so PPF we'll underneath it, so. So let's strip her down naked. Progress report. Going back to white. There's all the uh, stuff in the trunk. Stuff off. It's crazy seeing it in white again. I miss it. What does he do? She's white. Back to her original form. Took us a couple hours. I've had more fun doing other things before. That is the for sure. Looks good though. Looks good. Back in white. Thanks for your help, dude. Appreciate it. Thank you, brother. She looks good. Yeah, it looks really good. It's intact. I missed the white. The still there. I know. It looks good. Can't wait to see the M2 and the M3 together now. having the white back. I missed it. Looks so weird. I'm not used to it. I want to do a photo shoot with the M2 and the M3 now that they're both in white. like a huge car show that we were supposed to go to on Sunday that got canceled because of the coronavirus. It's crazy. It kind of sucks, man. It's like, dang, it's just getting nice out. Car show season. And then coronavirus comes around and just f***s everything up. <laughs> it sucks. I was so stoked to go to car shows. So we'll see how long this thing hangs around for, man.
What's crazy to me is the ceramic coating lasted throughout that entire wrap. So all the ceramic coating that was on the paint underneath the wrap completely held intact. Like that's just wild, man. That stuff is so strong. Oh, it looks so good in the white. It looks so good. It's so clean. Freaking missed it. That panda theme. Ooh. Thing looks awesome. Yeah, I'm just gonna call this one here because I'm gonna head back to the house and get the M2 and then uh, I'm heading to a uh, Lambo show, Lamborghini show here in Charlotte. So that will be a different video, but I just want to show you guys that we did end up removing the wrap and the paint is like perfect. And even the ceramic coating lasted. That's like one of the biggest questions I get from people so they're always wondering like, if you put a wrap on a car, will it affect the paint underneath? Like, will it damage it? Or will it remove any ceramic coating? And the truth is, if it's done properly, and like, you know what you're doing, and you know how to remove it properly, and the parts were painted correctly, and twice baked, and you waited long enough for that paint to cure, then you should be fine. But like, obviously there's a lot of people out there who don't really know what they're doing. And those are usually the people that scare off others to wrap their cars properly. So, as you guys saw though, this car is in perfect condition, man. Like the Alpine White is flawless. I still have all the ceramic coating on it. It's not that I didn't like the blue. I just think that the white looks so good on this car that like, I don't know, I missed it. Like I really missed the white. And now I have two Alpine White BMWs. I got the M2 and I got my M3. So, all is well in the world. Anyways guys, I'm gonna call it at this one. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.